Alrighty, I'm going to give you just a little, a quick tutorial on how to use, <clears throat> excuse me, the transfers. So, transfers come in this round cardboard. I chose the Magnolia Garden transfer. This is the first time I ever used them. So, um, they come, they come in like a full sheet, <clears throat> excuse me, big full white sheet. So what I do is I cut them all out until they're like this. Then I decide where I'm going to place them. Now I already did this one and this one. But I decide where I'm going to place them. And then like this guy, I just decided he's going down here. And I pull the white off the back and move him. And I'm going to put him in here somewhere. So I'm going to line it up. I want to keep those buds on the drawer part, so I'm going to go, I like that. So when it, when I have it where I want it, then this comes with the kit and you start rubbing this and you'll be able to see it come off of this clear transfer paper as you rub the transfer so, i just do like down here just to give you an idea of what it does. And see if you pull it up and it's not, it sort of gets opaque, like transparent when you can see that it's off. So, sorry, that's my pony. She wants out. She wants to in the yard and graze. So, I just keep rubbing this. Um where I want it I'll keep doing this I hate to sit people on there watching okay there it lifted there it's already on there it becomes like transparent you'll see it like it disappears off of this adhesive this clear transfer sheet but I'm sure you guys don't want to sit there and watch me rub at this transfer so I'll come back I'll come back after I have it off of here and show you what it looks like then. All right, I put, I already put this one on. So I was just trying to eye up what I want to do next. So that is already there. I rubbed that off. Now I'm thinking I want to do this somewhere where that stem ends. And I think I'm going to put the butterfly like hover somewhere up here. So... When I see there, I put that. Now I take the white off of the transfer paper. Okay. All right. There we go. There's the white. Comes off. Throw that away. Now line up where you want your transfer to go. And I sort of want it to sit like. Turn a little sideways. And make it look like this bloom is coming off of that twig. Once I figure out where I want it, I just lay it down. And then again, and start rubbing it with the board they send with the kit. And as you rub it off, it'll transfer onto your piece. I'm sure you could put this on glass and it would look pretty cool. I didn't, I didn't read everything on what all you can put it on, but I just wanted to use it on some wood stuff just to see how easy it was to work with and how it came out. So I'll do this and get this flower transferred onto here and then move on to the butterfly. So some of it if you see it like you'll see it lifting so then you know you got to hit it more sometimes I I don't know if they just say anything about the but sometimes I go to this blunt wood chipper and wood Let's see yeah see it's coming off and if you see like there's a little piece on there so you just go back on and you rub it and it'll come off it'll be fine Yep, see, came off. 
So I'm going to keep on going with this flower, doing the same thing like I did with the other stuff. I want to show you this quick. I just found this. It was a little easier. Lift. Like I said, this is my first time using these transfers, so I'm learning as I go. If you lift it where it's going on, and then just keep pulling, and you're looking at this side, you'll see what's sticking. Okay, like right there's a spot, so I'm going to rub that. It stays. Okay, good deal. Yep, that's what that this right here is the way to do it. Oh my goodness, much better. Okay, there you go. And then you go over. I'm glad I tried that. So then you go over and you just take your finger and you rub it down real well, like so. Get it stuck fast for a while. And then I'm going to decide where I'm putting my butterfly. Um, I'm not sure if I want to have him on here or if I want to have him come over from here. Because like I did here, up, up can you, yeah, you can see that. Uh, where I took these magnolias, it was a bigger one, and I overlapped. So it, I thought that looked pretty neat to do that. I did the same thing with the top one. So... I'm going to figure out where I'm going to put this butterfly. I have an idea where I'm going to put it. So, I took the white off. And now I just start looking where I want to lay him. Again, that's my pony. She wants out. Pixie. So, when I want it to look like he's getting ready to come down to the flower. So, Right there. And then I'm going to do like I showed you a while ago where I found that to be the best way. Start rubbing. And I switch to this. Now this is not sharp. This is a really blunt one. This thing is old. I used it for so many different things. But anyway. So. Then lift one side. Oh, that's much easier. That's the ticket right there. So you lift it. And keep watching where you're lifting it. If anything sticks, you come back in, rub it off of the adhesive, then pull. Okay, it's sticking here. So do that one more. Okay. And then just keep pulling. Okay, right here was a piece that didn't stick. This is much easier to do this way, so that's obviously the way to do it. Just lift it and go, because you can really see from this side if it's sticking or not. This made it much easier. Okay. There we go. <laughs> now I'm going to go back and rub. I know they have a name for this when you rub this transfer back in, but I don't know what it is. So... There we go. Rub it down. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like that a lot. I'm glad I did it that way. Now, I know a lot of people with Dixie Belle do like, they, they stain sometimes this stuff. Sometimes they sand it off a little bit to give it some age. But I have to play with that more before I get that daring. Right now, I'm just learning how to use the transfers. Just So I'm passing on to you how to use them. Okay. I just came across a leaf that had like the same browns and tans as this stuff. So I thought I'm going to put that somewhere right in here. I thought that would look neat right in here. And I'm thinking to have it go over... Like on the edge and be able to go over there nope it's not big enough it's a little too short for that so I'm gonna put it right against the flower I guess I guess it will go go across there we go that'll look neat okay so I want to decide for an idea where I want it now I'm gonna take this off take the backing off and Side before I put it down, right there, right there. So that way, I, 
I think it's cool when it overlaps, when you, you put it on something that overlaps, the crack, the and continues on to the next. So now I'll do the same thing with this guy. Oh yeah, and I need to show you what I do when I cross a crack with a transfer. When I cross a, a crack with a transfer, what I do to cut it to make it look natural. Wait, this doesn't want to come off. I'm going to try to go back. This is what it came with, so I'll go back to this again. I did with the rest. Go from this side. There we go. Okay. And I want to be sure I don't hit the stuff I already put on there. Okay, so now what I do is I come in with a utility knife. I push this all down real good. And I just go through it. And I use a really sharp one, a brand new one, because I don't want to wrinkle it. I don't want to tear it. I want to cut it. And then push this back on. See, just that added leaf, what that did. I think that's cool. It, did add some more to it filled up that cool I have all the transfers on there now so that's how it came out all I gotta do is put the handles on yet and then it'll be done <laughs> 